uh, to find out, again, we don't know the timeline of this. We know that the first call came in 1025, but we don't know how long this person was in the building, um, his whereabouts, uh, his movements during that time. We, we don't know. All that we know is that seven people are dead. We are showing you command posts from different agencies. We are showing you ambulances lined up. Um, it, it just begs the question as to whether this is a secure scene or not. Um, you would have to think that there are more injured, but we don't know that. Um, we got the number of dead, seven, including the gunman. We have three people at Freightart now, including uh, this from law enforcement, not from Freightart, who, Freight who has to deal with HIPAA regulations, of course. Um, one of them is the 20-year veteran of the Oak Creek Police Department, a skilled member of the tactical team who engaged uh, in a gun battle with that suspect killing the suspect who is uh, was one of the seven people dead killed on the outside four killed inside three including the gunman on the outside we don't know if there are any um, more people who are injured we cannot know that yet we see the ambulances lined up and you makes you wonder well why aren't they going in which begs the question is the scene really secure answers we hope to get very shortly all right so we're going to take a moment now and we're going to replay for mm -hmm. you the briefing the last briefing that we received a little bit after 1:30 from police chief Greenfield, about 144 exactly, to be exact. 144, we received this briefing from Greenfield Police Chief Brad Wentland. Um, as I said earlier, about 10.25 a.m., uh, the Oak Creek Police Dispatch Center received multiple 911 calls of a shooting at the Sikh Temple here in Oak Creek. The first officer on the scene is a 20-year uh, law enforcement veteran, an extremely accomplished tactical officer. Uh, when he arrived on the scene, he engaged an active shooter outside of the temple. Uh, multiple rounds were exchanged. The officer was shot multiple times. He is currently at Freighter Hospital and being treated for multiple gunshot wounds. He is in surgery. His condition is not known at this time. The suspect, the shooter, was also shot. He is down on the scene and presumed deceased. Uh, tactical officers have made multiple uh, search runs through the facility, through the temple at this time. The best information we have now, and this information may change, is that two individuals were transported from the scene by various local fire departments for gunshot wounds. One being the officer, the other a civilian. The uh, emergency medical personnel, the tactical personnel who have gone through the scene have initially identified what they believe to be four deceased inside of the temple and three deceased outside of the temple, one of whom is the shooter. This is Oak Creek. Go ahead. For the that is the best information we have available at this time. I do not have any additional information to share with you. As you can see behind me, there are multiple agencies involved here both local, state, and federal. And we're all trying to coordinate the response here, make sure that everybody's safe, anybody who may be wounded is taken care of, and that this investigation gets underway forward. There was a concern about multiple gunmen based on information heard over the scanners. I will tell you that at this time, we have not identified any additional gunmen. Uh, it's possible in these types of incidents, as I said before, they're extremely fluid and we get multiple calls and multiple reports. So it's possible that those multiple reports were of the same person. We have not identified additional shooters in the temple or on the scene. At this point, we're not sure if there was additional shooters. That will be part of this ongoing process of tactical follow-up, ensuring that everyone is accounted for, ensuring that the scene is secure, and accounting for all the victims and witnesses. That again was Chief Brad Wentland of the Greenfield Police Department who is acting as the police information officer for Oak Creek Police who are in charge of this investigation. Seven dead at the Sick Temple in Oak Creek on South Hall. Um, we are now using the pronouncer Sick. We have been using the term Seek. We did not do that with any disrespect, but we are told by the um, member of the Sick American Legal Defense and Education Fund that the preferred term is sick, so obviously we will honor that. Our apologies. Obviously we are learning uh, a lot today about this uh, peaceful religion that is in the news for a not so peaceful event, an absolutely violent and horrific event. Seven people killed today.